What is going on, brothers? It's Lime Tag with the name. Got another video for you. It's your entitled Black Box Go to Hill, Part 8. Here goes. So, from the surround sound bitching and all the slandering that's been going on for the past week and a half, you would think that brothers buying passports and going off to greener pastures and visiting majority black countries would actually make these individuals happy. That should make them happy because that means that the pool of competition is getting smaller. Those men don't have to compete for the women in this environment. So they should be happy. But they're not. They're angry with us. They are angry, they are fearful, and they are weak. But they're supposed to be happy. So what does that tell you about your what does that tell you about their character, brothers? What does that tell you about them? It tells you that they are crabs in a bucket. Creatures of filth. That's exactly what they are. Creatures of filth. Hence all the slandering, the surround sound bitching, and why they're going above and beyond to try to derail brothers from getting passports. Talk them out of it. You see, these individuals are exactly what Booker T. Washington, Dr. Claude Anderson, and Malcolm X warned black people to stay away from. These individuals. Individuals who don't know shit, can't do shit, but they tear other black people down, especially brothers who are smarter than them and more capable than them. They tear them down. They're full of greed, envy, and murder. You see, their anger, their fear, and their jealousy boils down to one thing. If you leave, you can't be fed upon. You hear me? You cannot be fed upon from these sick individuals, these creatures of filth. If you buy passports and go to these and visit these majority black countries, you cannot be fed upon from these grifters, these thieves, these liars, and these chicken shits flapping their chicken wings. You know the cream team. But that's a topic for another for another um, video. I'll cover that in another video. But right now I want to talk about why they are fearful, weak, and angry that you're leaving. They're leaving because they're at the bottom of the pyramid. They're in the trenches. And they don't want their position to be threatened at all. That's right. They don't want their position to be threatened at all. If you were to go to any of the countries on that list, meet women or even go there for business, and you make your bread fat, then they will feel like they ain't worth shit. It will make them angry. It will make them sad because while you're willing and dealing, enjoying your life, they're in the trenches boasting and bragging about the worn out peace leave that they got. It will make them feel inadequate. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is this. For all their talk about having game, for all their talk about how they're living large and how they're doing this and that and the third, the truth is that they're peddling fraud. 
They're thieves, liars, and parasites. Creatures of filth. They ought to be avoided like the plague. But they're comfortable in the black box. They're comfortable in the trenches. And they don't want you to leave. Mm hmm. Let's say a size proportion of brothers get their passports, visit these majority black countries, and start families over there. Let's say that happens. And then a generation or two, the children from those families come to the United States and they do really well. What happens? That class of people that called you Oreos, lames, and who tried to steer you into failure, they will simply disappear. There will be no place for them at the bottom of the pyramid. And that's what scares them. That's what scares these overweight Cleon bitches. That's what scares these bitch made simps. And that's what scares these sorry, pathetic male hyenas. That's what scares them. They can't compete. They will not be able to compete. But I gotta say it like this. They're not stopping this train. They're not stopping this train because they were comfortable with things the way they are. They're comfortable with young men being steered into failure. They're comfortable with young men being beaten to death, being set to be robbed and murdered. Like the poor SOB down there in Houston, Texas who tried to break up that fist fight between those two hoochies. He got shotgunned to death. No, check this out. He got gunned down trying to break up that fight. His death was senseless. The same goes for the simp up there in New York who went into that bodega to fight that clerk over a bag of fucking potato chips because the simp, no, 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 the Cleon bitch put the battery in his back to do it. Those incidences are going to stop whether the, these bitch made simps or these Cleon bitches like it or not. That's going to stop. You brothers who are serious about second green, you brothers who are serious about looking for greener pastures, I'm encouraging you to get your passport, see the world, know the world for yourself. You learn more as you travel. That's in the scriptures. The well-traveled man has much experience. That's in the scriptures. See for yourself. Hell, I travel. That's part of my job. And I have lots of experience. And in this life, experience is the best teacher. But how much experience will you get if you stay in the trenches? How much experience will you get if you're around male hyenas, bitch made simps, Cleon bitches who only want to steer you into failure? You only want to clip your wings when they see that you are prospering in their night. You see, they're losing. They're losing. And that's what they deserve. In this life, you reap what you sow. I'm going to say it again. In this life, you reap what you sow. You get exactly what you deserve according to your work. Brothers who are traveling and going to these majority black countries to speak and mingle with other black people, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that because that means we can compare notes. We can see what works and what doesn't. It should be a beautiful thing. But not if you are a male hyena, 
Not if you're part of the cream team. Not if you're one of these Cleon bitches or these derelict bitch made simps who are masquerading as dating coaches. Not to them. But brothers, know this. This guy's the limit. Get your passport, know the world, and see the world for yourself. That's a message to you. The black box is on fire, and it's going to be destroyed, whether you like it or not. Mm hmm. This is Line of MGTOW. That's all I got for you, brothers. So, if you video, like, share, and comment here. Feel free to subscribe. If you're doing this, my channel, you can find Tip Jar on the upper right hand side of the screen. This is G Plus Icon. All right, fam. All right, brother. You know it's real. You know it's in Goy Livoy. It's Watch BM. As for these Cleon bitches, these bitch made sims, these male hyenas, and all the other dregs and denizens who are part of the cream team, give them nothing. This has been MGTOW PSC. More to come to tight. Actually, it's SYPMPSA. More to come to tight. See you soon.